This is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this uh, video, I will show you how to make these uh, quick and easy Christmas tree ornaments. So you can make them in many different colors, and uh, you will also learn how to work with beads. It is a few extra steps, but uh, it adds uh, some nice color to the trees. And these are small. So including that hanging string, it's about four inches long and two and a half inches wide. And let's first see about uh, what you need for that tree. And here's uh, what you need. My yarn is Karen Simply Soft and this one is a medium size 100% acrylic and I have my Christmas colors white red green and I chose a finer hook uh, 3.75 millimeters because uh, with this one it's easier to work the slip stitches on a tree and also if you choose to add the beads you'll need quite fine hook this one is one millimeter or 1.25 something like that to pull the bead uh, the yarn through the bead and my beads here you need nine of them and the bead size is two slash zero and these are the ones i'm using these uh, bright blue ones here white ones and uh, brown ones all in one packet uh, you also need stitch marker to add the beads. And let's get started. And let's make the red tree. Starting with slip knot. And first we start with the stem chain three then slip stitch in the second chain from hook and also in that last chain two slip stitches here chain one turn and now inserting hook through this upper loop here slip stitch again and also in that next loop sometimes it takes an effort to insert through loop slip stitch loop and turning it this way i also slip stitch through this loop up here and now we start the branches first for the first three chain six four five six then slip stitch in second chain from hook and in each next four five slip stitches here three four and five first branch again chain six three four five six and same slip stitch in second chain from hook and in each next four Four, 
five slip stitches here and third the same chain six three four five and six same slip stitch in second chain from hook and in each next four Then next two branches are shorter, chain five, two, three, four, five, slip stitch in second chain from hook. So here we have four slip stitches. Make this next one same, chain five. Five and four slip stitches. And next two branches, we need to chain four and slip stitch three. Again, one, two, three, four. Slip stitch three. And last two branches on this side, short ones, chain three slip stitch two one more chain three and slip stitch two and now chain 15 for the string two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And next, I'm going to make a slip stitch in that first chain here. So insert hook through it, yarn over and pull loop up but here is where we insert our first bead so don't finish that stitch instead take your hook out of both loops and this is where I'm going to use my stitch marker through that first loop will just uh, help to keep it in place here and first bead take your fine hook put the bead on the hook then insert it through that second loop you have here and pull it through the bead take your fine hook out now take the slips uh, stitch marker out and with your bigger hook insert it through that first loop that was uh, stitch marked and also that second loop that the bead is attached to pull that second through the first and this is how we attach the beads a few extra steps here but I think it's worth it and from here we start the branches on the second side and we do the short ones first which is uh, three chains and two slip stitches after I'm done with these slip stitches here, 
I'm going to next insert my hooks so past this short first branch on the other side and find the space here between first two branches and insert hook here and pull up a loop. This is where we're gonna attach the second bead. Same way, take your hook out, insert stitch marker through the first loop. Take the second bead, put it on your fine hook and pull that second loop through the bead. You don't have to use a stitch marker if you uh, are confident this is... I found that it's uh, sometimes when I pulled that loop through the bead, this one started to unravel. So I just wanted to secure it with stitch marker. And now insert hook, your main hook through both of these loops and pull that one through here. This is the completing that slip stitch with the bead. And from here, we make that second branch, chain three, slip stitch two. And again, now find the space between that second and third branch here. Insert hook and pull up a loop. And let's attach third bead. Securing my first loop with stitch marker. Grabbing my third bead and pulling that second loop through the bead. Take stitch marker out. Insert hook back here and also through second loop. And pull it through. From here we start the third branch and for this one we need four chains and three slip stitches. And again now go into that this space here between the branches. Insert, pull up a loop. Now take hook out you're the first loop fourth bead pull the second loop through take out stitch marker put it back on your main hook and pull the second loop through the first. Next branch is also four chains and three slip stitches. Inserting hook between the branches here in this space, pull up a loop. And again, the fifth bead.
next uh, branch is five chains five four slip stitches And last three branches are the longest ones. So chain six, four, five, six, and slip stitch five. Two more beads to attach.
and I've attached my nine beads and made all the branches. Finished that last one with five slip stitches. And to finish, we only need to now slip stitch in this space right below that very first branch. So pull up, loop, pull through, loop and hook. And it's finished. Cut off the thread. That's enough. And now only need to weave in these two ends. And I finished my Christmas tree. I hope you find this video tutorial helpful to work with beads and make these uh, quick and beautiful uh, Christmas ornaments. It will make a nice uh, gift. Um, let me know if you have any questions. You will find written pattern on my blog. The link is below video in description box. Thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting.